Ooh, 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 ooh. He's starting to get out of the water. Oh, there he is. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that American flag. Feels good to be here in Mississippi. How's it going, everyone? Bo here from BZ Hub. And of course, today we're playing The Hunter Call of the Wild in the new map, Mississippi, everyone. And uh, I've done a bit of exploring, as you could uh, probably see from this map here. We have been everywhere on this map trying to figure out where some of the animals are and uh, trying to get a good look at everything around here. And I will say, if you want to take a look at my uh, equipment right now, I have the uh, Norton 20 gauge serviceman shotgun for those uh, pesky bob whites out there. Not pesky, they're adorable and I love them all flying at the same time. It's amazing. Uh, the M1 for uh, taking out some of those hogs and those deer and being in America, I thought, well, <laughs> Probably a good choice. And then uh, and then I have the 22 Anderson handgun right here. But I'll tell you what, there is one thing I'm missing being in this new map. And it, of course, is uh, right here in this locker. And there they are, the Coleman 22 Hornet. I tell you what, they've got it in Hornet, they've got it in Wasp, and they got it in Yellow Jacket, really hitting all of those insects there. Uh, it's pretty fantastic, though I will say, I have a I have a soft spot in my heart for wood. I do know that we have green and we have this kind of reddish color, but. This just, this just brings me back to my childhood, of course. And, uh, and then we just need some ammo, everyone. That's the new 22 Hornet Polymer Tip right there. And, uh, being a Polymer Tip, I think that's what we're gonna go with. Let's buy a few of these, because we will need it. We will need it, I tell you what. Look at that. Pretty sweet little weapon there. Oh, even the, I like that. This is gonna be fun, I can already tell. So if you're looking forward to seeing my first look, first impressions of the new Mississippi map, better hit that like button and roll the intro. Well, here we are, Mississippi, uh, 6 a.m., I should say. And uh, this starting area down here, this is where you kind of start out in this great river plain, and then you start to realize just how big this map is. My goodness gracious. And if you live in the Midwest and that sort of stuff, like me being in Kansas, of course, and you're used to hunting fields and, uh, and some trees on the edge of the field, you are gonna love Mississippi more than probably any other map besides Hirschfeld because uh, there are a lot of fields on this map. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, it kind of reminds you of Farming Simulator in a way, but there are a bazillion fields on this map. And uh, Bob White galore, uh, hogs, deer, black bear, fox, raccoons, rabbits. I mean, I tell you what, I'm excited about it. I really am. And I've been trying to hold back shooting a lot of stuff uh, until I started this video, but uh, gates are open. Gates are open, everyone. I'm ready to take down some uh, anything we see, honestly. Now, being a first impression, obviously this is gonna be kind of a long video, but down below, I'm gonna try to separate it a little bit, give you uh, you know a little time to skip around if you're looking to see a specific animal or a specific place. Ooh, or if you're just wanting to see me shoot some raccoons, just check down below, uh, scan about in the little bar down there, and you should be able to skip to whatever part you're looking to see. I'm looking forward to testing out this 22 Hornet on these raccoons, though. They're just, oh, right around this trash can, too. Ooh, they're running. Yeah, I've got one right. Should have been in the lung there. Should be dropping dead just like that. Top notch. So I should say that along with this first impression video, I do intend, do intend to put out other videos at the same time. And this is gonna be uh, raccoon hunting, alligator hunting, maybe a, a video specifically on chasing down some Bob White quail. And then I wanna also have a video showing all the taxidermy poses and whatnot of this new map. But here we go. Our first little raccoon here. Little uh, female blonde. I'm telling you what, I have not seen a blonde raccoon my entire life. Uh, but there sure are a lot of them in Mississippi. So, uh, yeah. Is that a Mississippi thing? I know Big Block's from Mississippi. What do you think, Big Block? There are a lot of blonde raccoons in Mississippi. And of course, these raccoons took us right back to the side of the river here. And I tell you what, I know that, I know there's one, one animal of reptilian design that people are uh, excited about here in Mississippi, and uh, I'll, I'll tell you right up, <laughs> the, 
These things can be difficult with a capital D. These things blend into grass like no other, and by the time you hear them, they're usually taking a run for the water. And uh, once they're in the water, they're gone, man. They're gone. Well, that's the sound you hear by the time you've already messed up. Ooh, ooh. Got eyes on, eyes on one. She's uh, swimming about though. There she is right there. I've taken a few shots at them while well, they've uh get her oh we went for that headshot and she's moving just like that you know you get one shot off they go under might be five, ten minutes before they come back up and you get another shot. Oh, there she kind of came up to the surface a little bit. Just enough for us to barely see her pop her head. Ooh, getting some mating calls for some bob whites there, but of course we have this little pig. Little pig. A little down. I was hoping we might be able to get close to this old swamp bridge right here and see any gators about. Then we have this pig settled down. Well, first look at the old pig right here. What you doing there, Wilbur? There we go. Wild hog. It's not the first time we've seen these either on a uh, old uh, New Zealand map, but hey, that'll work. I always enjoyed the wild hogs running around. Give us a good uh, opportunity to shoot a shoot a bunch of rounds down range especially if we can get into a tripod and take out four or five of them and you may take notice to this uh fantastic mississippi rain here um that's gonna happen quite a bit i i'd say uh four or five times a day if not more if not more so uh, just get used to that tell you if you can get into a good position for these bob whites they will literally try and fly right over your head and uh, that just gives you a perfect, perfect opportunity to take out a few of them. That sounds like a very mad eaglet. There's one way over there. And a male. A female. Well, now we got two males. Saw the one that was uh, fleeing away. And I thought, oh god, we don't have much time. <laughs> I need to, I need to react with what I have. weren't very uh, great shots though. Didn't have very good angles, that's for sure. But here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Just like rabbits in real life. Even if that seemed a little weird that it just stopped right there. Rabbits and squirrels, man. If they think they're hiding, they will stand just still and not move. And you'll be standing there looking around. The next thing you know, it's just, you just see its eyes just staring right back at you. Right into your soul. And you're just thinking, you silly goober. <laughs> I can see you. I throw this guy in the trophy lodge. I haven't seen many rabbits, so I'm kind of excited about that one. Piggy here. I see a lot of pigs with pink and black spots. Um, and I haven't seen a brown and black one, this brown hybrid here. So I think we'll uh, save this one. Now throughout this whole story, I'm assuming we're gonna be experiencing a lot of uh, what's going on in this area, including the hard times that this uh, Mississippi area has come under, you can tell. There's just uh, remnants of buildings and there's trailers and everything throughout this entire area. And it's really cool to be able to uh, see these uh, little buildings they've put up for us to venture in. 
And you can also, I mean, use them. Use them as kind of a little hunting area, eh? You know, a little blind of the sort. Keep out of the rain. But of course, the bright side to all this is that they're trying to turn this whole area around. They're trying to open up this, uh, this summer camp, Camp Haven, which is, you know, it's turning out to be a nice little place, you know? Who's to say Jason Voorhees wouldn't show up and try, uh, you know, work in some of the camp here, but, you know, it's a fantastic area. The, the decorations are great, and I will say, as far as the cabins or, you know, settlements or whatever you want to call them throughout the whole or entire reserve, there's no copy and paste involved. I mean, every single one of the cabins is different. It has its very own decorations. It makes you want to go into every single one of these uh, buildings and just kind of explore and just see what's all in there. Well, warning call for some quail. These fields are going to be a blessing and a curse, you'll find out. See one taken off that way. There's two more. There goes a third. Oh, can we catch up to him? I think we can. They got to land sometime. This is when we need the bird dog. When's the bird dog coming out? Goodness. There we go. A little female bob white there. And a male. Two more, I think. Hey, look at this. Boy, if only finding quail in real life was this easy. <laughs> Top notch. Four quail down. That worked out. Ooh, just got a mating call for an alligator. Going for a closer look behind these trees here. Oh man, this is crazy. The entire town is just flooded. Ooh, there he is. Waddling just on the other side of that cabin there. And there he is. Well, we've spotted a gator, kind of going towards land anyway. I'm really hoping. Ooh, we just happened to see another one. Oh, that's a little seven over there. Wish that was a gator. I'm telling you, you're going to be jumping at every little thing that sticks up out of the water once you start hunting these things. Ooh, 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 ooh. He's starting to get out of the water. Oh, there he is. Drop dead, alligator! Is he dead? Did I really get him? <gasps> we got him! Oh. oh my god, I can't believe we got him! Look at him! Look at you, dude! I'm telling you, I'm like afraid that another one's gonna come up right behind me or something. Look at this guy! I'm telling you, I, I've never been so excited about a level six. <laughs> oh, it's so awesome. So awesome. You, look at you, man. Oh my god, look at the detail. Look at the detail. I'm telling you. Expansive worlds. I've been impressed with many things over the years, but goodness gracious. And they're probably thinking, I just enjoyed working with someone that didn't have fur. <laughs> oh, God. This is so awesome. And look at those teeth, man. Look at those teeth. That is so cool. Your first gator. 
my first gator and look at him I'm, I'm eager to see this oh yeah okay so we didn't we didn't get him in the brain though is the thing we didn't get him in the brain but what we did do is we shot him in the neck I guess if anything if you're having trouble hitting him in the brain aim for the neck <laughs> Well, I guess it was kind of nice that we just so happened to find him as he was up in this uh, this area here. Because even if he tried to run, it would have been easy to get a second shot on him. But hey, that is that is all right, everyone. Gator down, gator down. That's all I can say. And what a beautiful area to be doing it in, with the sunken village and everything. You couldn't have asked for much more. That was so cool to come upon that uh, out in the bushes and whatnot. There's a number eight, a level eight mythical out there. Wish you'd come up on land. So well, this is one of those uh, those things that you're gonna notice a lot of is that this whole Mississippi area. I mean, it, it is a it is like a working area. It's not like a whole reserve just for you to kind of do your thing like. This is a community. People live out here. They're farming. They're uh, trying to do a summer camp, you know. They've got their own agendas. And you're just out here hunting. And, of course, they got the main story to kind of help them out as well. But I tell you what. Like I've said before, these fields. Love-hate relationship. You're going to love how all the animals end up in them. Keeps them out of the forest. And you're going to hate... How these fields seem to hide them really really well <laughs> but as we've discussed there are lots of fields and kind of swampy areas throughout here but if you do go over into kind of these uh, this uh, oh, eastern side of the map here as well as up here in the northern part of the map you're gonna find a lot more uh, trees where they're gonna be uh, black bears and more fox and turkeys and deer and that sort of thing so uh, let's head over in this area show off just that and getting into those pines you ever travel down Mississippi Georgia those kind of areas you'll see lots of pine trees around Ooh, gobble gobble the eastern turkey over here of course me being from Kansas we have the Rio Grande and the eastern turkey here in our state but uh, we're gonna get a look at this Eastern see see what I think about it they might have been able to get away with the whole Merriam's and Rio Grande looking pretty similar but uh there's a big difference between a Rio Grande and Eastern and I am eager to see they got it down right on the edge of the forest here he's waking his way making his way we talked him out of stopping eating he says there's a hand over here how did I miss that kind of a long shot right now but I think we could pull it off if we needed to yeah, that'll work Eastern turkey down man and would you look at that would you look at that Boy, E.W., you did all right. I tell you what, paying attention, I dig it. I dig it. Let's mount this sucker. Gold turkey here, right in front. Got him in the breast there. I usually always aim for the head in real life, but in the game, you know, why chance it? Especially when I'm here trying to make a video for y'all. So don't even, don't even with me. By the time I was making my way to this field here, Heard this wild turkey out in the middle making some noise. And he was actually doing a warning call, so I decided, well, <laughs> might as well try, I suppose. Sure enough, he starts running right towards us. Kind of a long shot again, but... That'll do it! Another turkey down. Boy, got him in the head that time. Kind of tried to aim right, right in the middle. I knew by the time the spread got to him, it'd probably be a little bit of everything. So, yeah, worked out. All right, Mr. Fox, where are you? One thing you'll notice a lot of is these uh, beautiful plants with white flowers, and then these uh, these other plants. 
<laughs> that, I don't know, look like little elves or something hiding. They're everywhere. Kind of, uh, kind of spooky. I was walking around. Next thing I hear is this, mm, and, uh, and I figure, oh, it's thick trees in here. We're never going to see it. And, uh, next thing I know, move the binoculars over and there he is, standing there. You can see his head. Head through those trees. You know, I'll do it. Yep, he's a down bear. And a turkey! What? <laughs> they were hanging out together. It was a right party over here. Another girl definitely got the lungs that time. <laughs> no spread on that. Top notch. Turkey down, and then we got our bear here. Our first Mississippi bear. Right on, man. Female, not a big one, that's for sure. Got the right and left lung on that first shot, and then I uh, couldn't really tell what we were shooting at the second time, but wanted to put another bullet in her before she uh, ran towards us. But yeah, top notch first bear in Mississippi. How about that? Well, we're down to just a whitetail and a fox at the moment. You find a whitetail and a fox. Wow. That was probably the craziest whitetail mating call I've ever heard. Straight in this direction, though. I don't know. I, I can't see it on the binoculars. Sending in the doe to do the dirty work. Classic buck stuff. Oh, there he is. Not very big, but he'll do. And the last shot at that. Whitetail down. Mississippi whitetail at that. Look at that guy. That will work. Not much to uh, to look at, but I tell you what, that will work for what we're going for. And now just a fox to find. Need to take a look at this fox. I've heard them. I, I might have caught glimpses of them, but I'm yet to get a fox. And this goes for in this video and and before the video at that. Well, we got tracks. Looking forward on these tracks, and it looks like there is a giant group of pigs in front of us. Look at that. That'll do. That'll do. Was dealing with those pigs, and next thing I know, I hear a call. And that call was not to the Ghostbusters. It was the call from the fox. Trying to figure out what was up. That was his downfall. Look at this guy. That is so cool. Cool fur pattern. Uh, unfortunately, got his head straight into the log there, so we can't really take a look at his face, but we will here in just a second. Look at that. That is too cool. Oh, that face, though. <laughs> Got a nice shot on him, though. I thought we were going to get both uh, both lungs, but unfortunately, it looks like I had a little bit of an angle on him, and it hit the uh, hit the spine there instead. But uh, that's a gold. It was just one point away. Obviously, only a six out of uh, out of nine, I assume. But uh, yeah, one away from a diamond there. Very pretty little fox, though. Tell you what, everyone, I would spend a week in one of these little. Uh, Riverside houses that they've got here any day of the week any day of the week. I'd do it by George Be doing some fishing out there in that boat over there Anywho, I, I'm having a lot of fun in Mississippi like I've said before the fields the forests You know the whitetail the turkeys the quail, you know that sort of thing reminds me of home back in Kansas I wish there were just some pheasants running around that would be that would be fantastic but hopefully I gave you some uh, a little looky-loo at some of the areas around in uh, this new Mississippi map, as well as some of the animals that you're going to be finding there. Well, I guess all of the animals. 
If you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see some of the future videos we have coming out. I'm going to be going raccoon hunting, more alligator hunting, Bob White quail. We're going to have our taxidermy show off, our show reel. Um, looking forward to it all, everyone. So make sure you hit that subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notifications of any sort of videos and live streams coming in the near future. And speaking of live streams, every Monday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central, we do a live stream of some uh, outdoor game, whether it be hunting or fishing. That's just uh, that's just how it goes, everyone. So uh, look forward to that as well. But that's going to do it for this one. Comment down below if you're looking forward to this new Mississippi map. I'm eager to see what you all think of it. And until the next video, everyone, take care. And as always, remember, we're one planet, one family. Game on.